aka the crafty princess and today we have the tapping flamingo with me again Hello. yes <laughs> <laughs> we are still on the carnival magic and this is day is it three or two we got on saturday yesterday was sunday mm -hmm. right today's, today's monday. monday right so today's monday of our eight th day three of our eight day trip yeah right and um so we already recorded once. This is a second recording, so we'll just uh, pick up from where we left off. Uh, yesterday, we had, um, I guess we stopped right when we recorded. We hadn't had dinner yet, and so that was basically the first thing we could talk about today was last night's dinner. Right. So, and what did you think of last night's dinner, Carrie? Well, you can't go with. wrong with lobster. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> it was very good. There was, uh, we had lobster tail, and... Orzo, yes, which was kind of cheesy like. Mm -hmm. It was excellent. Uh huh. A little, just a little bit of broccoli, which was really good, and a couple of shrimp. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was excellent. Um, and see, oh, and uh, my mom and I wanted uh some fruit, so we asked for a fruit plate, which was good. It was like a little fruit bowl. Um, but that I, I don't remember. I don't think they had anything appetizer ish that looked that great to us well I had I did have cream and mushroom soup and it was excellent it was good it uh -huh. did look good it looked good and then um, for for dessert we had creme brulee yes oh and by the way my husband had two lobsters so you can do that you order yes. two so but the creme brulee was good I normally don't like custard mm -hmm. but um, <clears throat> that was really good yeah it was very um, the creme brulee was perfectly it was very thin so there was a good um, covering of the um, hard sugar stuff sugar on the top. Crust. Yeah. So yeah, so and and the, um, the actually the lobster was it grilled lobster? I'm trying to remember was it grilled? I think it was. I don't know. I don't know. My, I was just good. It was yeah, but it was really really good. It was excellent. <laughs> yeah. and it had a little th dish of butter and everything. And because it was Mother's Day, they also passed out um, pink carnations to everybody, all the all the ladies. And they did a dance for us, which wasn't too bad. It was really funny. <laughs> so, and then, so after dinner, we went and saw a movie outside. Uh, one issue that I think we might have even mentioned in the other video was that it's, um, they have, we have dinner at six, and then the movie, the early movie starts around seven. Is that right? 7.30. Tonight it actually starts at seven. Oh, okay. So we're not even going to go be able to see it at all. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of odd that they have these movies they have uh, one at 7:30 normally and then I guess one at 10 so you you know but 10 it, the movie starts at 10 so right it's kind of and like, even the late eaters they yeah. really can't go to the 7:30 movie either because they're right getting they, ready to go to, to dinner. eat right so that's kind of weird so and we, nobody yeah. was out there which was really good we were yeah. about we must what 20 minutes yeah we probably missed the first 20 mm -hmm. minutes of the movie it was called it was the movie passengers mm -hmm. um, it was okay um, but it, it was a nice thing to do. It was, not, it was very pretty outside. It was nice. So, yeah. Yeah. They have it on a big screen, uh, which they need to clean the screen. I, I noticed that too. Like, yeah. <laughs> but you know, with all the salt air and stuff. Oh yeah, probably, sure. Yeah. That, definitely. Yeah. So, um, and then, then we went off to bed and the first night, uh, so this was our second night last night sleeping. First night was a lot of rolling around noises and lots of banging up above, above us. We're underneath the kitchen prep area. Yeah, we found that out. And and they asked. prep in the morning, like one, well, two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say all <laughs> night. They, yeah, they, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> sounds like a bowling alley up there. <laughs> Wing, roll, 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 pound, 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 pound. pound, pound. It tenderized so, me a lot, I think. <laughs> um, but last night wasn't as bad. We don't know if it's because we said anything or we just got lucky, but it was still noisy, but not as noisy as the first night was really bad. Um, <laughs> last night. You said you heard something about 2.30, right? It was 2.34, and I'm a heavy sleeper, but yeah. it was like somebody was right above my bed, and I hear this bang, and man, I jumped. Yeah. I heard about 3 a.m., I heard some pounding, um, and then various rolling sounds throughout the night, but um, I did sleep much better. Maybe it was just because I was exhausted. I don't know. <laughs> so, fingers crossed we have a, a good night tonight yep. um, also. All right, so then, um, so this morning we started off with breakfast at Southern Lights Restaurant. 
Um, and it was good. It was, you know, I just had an omelet and hash browns and tea. I brought my own tea bag this time and <laughs> begged for hot water. Um, oh, you got your banana. I did get my banana, hot chocolate, and one egg Benedict. Yeah. I, w I like, I mean, there's other places to have breakfast, but in fact, um, half of our group wanted to go to the Blue Iguana, but that's outside on the Lido deck. You can take chaos. it and go back inside, though. I guess so, but I like, if you go into the dining room, people come and wait on you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll have to say, the Blue Iguana does have good breakfast. They have a breakfast burrito that's really good. Mm, okay, so. we'll see. Maybe we'll venture, but I, I mean, I, especially the first meal, I want to just relax and be quiet and have my tea and wake up and that kind of thing. So, um, so then after that we went to Grand Turks. We, we arrived at Grand Turks. We are on the side that has no land. Land hold is that way. We arrived in Grand Turks and um, uh, got our bathing suits on and enjoyed, I guess for about an hour we sat outside mm -hmm. and um, read and just enjoyed the fresh air and it's kind of an overcast day here but it, it, yeah. it did rain actually after a while. It, it kind of spit a little bit. Yeah, nothing now, major. Now this has been, I don't know, I've, I've been to Turks for a couple, several times and we usually go to Margaritaville to the pool but this time we went to the beach. Yeah, in fact there was another, there was another boat out here. There were two carnivals. There were two ships. Two carnival ships. So yes. there was the Magic and what was the other? Splendor. The Splendor, the Splendor was here before we were. So the pool area was uh, yeah, I mean you couldn't even get anywhere near it, yeah. which was fine. Um, yeah, I'd love to go anyway. to the beach. This beach is eh, it's okay. Yeah, I mean we're from Florida. We're actually from the Cocoa Beach area originally, and um, now I live in Florida and near Hutchinson Island, and you know, so I mean we're kind of probably jaded, but um, the the beach here has big honking rocks everywhere. You cannot get to the water. It's, yeah, it's, it's very dangerous looking. I were, I kept seeing people like carefully walking out there and I'm like be careful mm -hmm. don't you know oh, god yeah. but it was nice to sit in the in the chairs they're mm -hmm. free you do not have to pay for them first yeah. come first serve there were tons of chairs yes plenty so of chairs so that was not an issue yeah plenty of chairs and um, i got me some sand i'm going to start collecting sand from the different beaches my son actually went to iceland for spring break and he brought me some black sand from iceland and i thought that's kind of a cool collection, so I'm going to start <coughs> collecting sand from the different beaches. I'm still coughing, okay. <laughs> so yeah, so after about an hour or so of sitting out, we decided then to um, venture around and do a little shopping. And you know, Grand Turks is teeny tiny. Um, basically, you just get off the boat and walk and there you are on the island. And um, we uh, bought jewelry, <laughs> which is, I think that's the main thing we bought, isn't it? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I bought, yep. um, I did, I bought this visor because my other visor is kind of falling apart. So for, you know, when I sit out in the sun, I got to keep, I keep love the that face, color. keep the face covered. So I got that for like 10 bucks. That was at, um, what was this shop that was here? What's it? What does that say? Caribbean, Caribbean outpost. outpost. Okay. That's a, it's a very large, it's probably one of the biggest shops on there. Right, and they have all, they have t-shirts right. you can buy, $25 t-shirts. They had some, uh, was it two for? Two for two 10. For, they had a different two for prices. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they had, but they had a bunch of different ones. They had some that were like three for something, mm -hmm. two for something, five bucks a piece, 10 bucks a piece, $15, you know. Yeah. Um, they had them where you could buy the hat and the t-shirt with mm -hmm. a little bracelet around it for 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, I was tempted. I almost got a t-shirt, but. I, I almost did too, but, and I. I almost bought a t-shirt for my granddaughters, but they were only five dollars. But they kind of looked square. Yeah, they looked. They looked too big, and my granddaughters are itty bitty. So. Um, and there's a Ron Johns there. We went to Ron mm -hmm. Johns again. That was funny. They're cook from Cocoa Beach. They go to Ron Johns and Grand <laughs> Turks, but they had different stuff there. Um, did you ever get those little dresses? I didn't. No. Oh, okay. They had some cute little girl dresses that she was looking at. I wonder if they they maybe we would just buy those in Cocoa Beach. Oh sometime. yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then. Let's see. Oh, this shop, we both got earrings at this place. Which one was this shop? This was called Island Outfitters. So I got these. <laughs> she got these. I think these are, um, I want to say, um, resin. resin. Yeah. Yeah, they're resin. Very, they're very lightweight. Um, you can see the price on our $12. 
um, they had a jillion of these, like all yeah, different that's, colors. Yeah, that's 12, not 16. Yeah. That kind of looks Yeah, $12. All different colors. They, they says handcrafted native designs. Now, we don't know if that's native to Grand Turk or if that's just, you know, native to... China. China? <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of think, I have a, I think these were probably actually... They're cute. Local. Yeah. Um, Hopefully they were. We want to try to, you know. But yeah, these are super lightweight, great colors. Yeah. And something like, I mean, you know, we could make these, but... I don't want to learn to do resin. Nah, I'm not, I really don't. I've done it. It's like, eh, it's okay. Um, oh, I went to the... What is that, this place? Got Tanzanite International. Tanzanite International got my free earrings. They were, they only had one pair less, so my mom and sister, even though we had coupons for for all three of those. Yeah, well, well, I've actually had some of those, but I'll... They're teeny tiny little posts. I didn't want to some. take them out of this plastic because I'll probably lose them because they're sealed in here. But they're a little te you get uh, when we went to the art show thing yesterday, they gave us a coupon and you can go there and get it for free if, mm -hmm. if they have any. <laughs> <laughs> they had one, but hey, maybe tomorrow in Puerto Rico we'll find them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, what else did you get? I went to where was this place? Oh, Island Out. This was Island Outfitters. Yeah, yeah, Island Outfitters was a big, big like yeah, it almost was. a block long. I bought a Christmas ornament. It's glass. Oh my goodness, Isn't that's she so cute. cute. That's neat. Oh, I thought yeah. she was really cute. Yeah. I like mermaids too. So. And I collect Christmas ornaments. So I. And it came very nicely in this nice package. It has a pillow. Kind of looks like a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a little coffin here. <laughs> but she will travel nicely. Yeah, to my home in Louisiana. Yeah, and that was like ten bucks or something. Yes. Right? So, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, also a place called Silver Sun had all kinds of pretty silver these are jewelry. Really pretty. Um, I got these. These were eighteen dollars. See, can I show them? They're flat on this one side, and then they're bumpy on the other. So, and they got little pearls. So, I got those. They're cool with this stuff. And then I'm wearing the another set I got um, and we keep, we're trying to remember the name of this place it was like donkey something yeah it's donkey something or the dizzy donkey maybe something like maybe that the it has, dizzy, that it has, sounds maybe right it has donkey in it um, and it, I've actually bought things from this shop before it's a little bit more upscale yeah, than it's a little boutique -y yeah place. it's very it's boutique -y. nice it's 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 not I mean it's touristy but nice and then I have these little so it came this set with this and these earrings and they had a lot of similar sets like mm -hmm. this that, they have um, clothes in there and yeah they had clothes sarongs not t-shirt clothes but no no nice resort nice, yeah. wear type yes. stuff so but yeah so this this necklace and the earrings were uh the set was 25 dollars, which i did not think that's bad at all and those are freshwater pearls though. yeah and those are real pearls and yeah um and it's got a, a adjustable you know chain so um, hopefully somebody made this that's a real person and not some well supposedly they have local people that make these yeah and she I hope so yeah but yeah I thought that was really but pretty it's hard to it's hard to know if, yeah I, I got to I, I tend gonna, to think I'm gonna believe it I is. I tend to believe her yeah um, you can usually tell <laughs> yeah, that and that was it. But yeah, that was. I mean, it, they have some junky shops there, but they did have a number of nicer, you know, boutiques like this mm -hmm. place that um, that were good. And they had uh, the regular. What was it? Piranha Joe's. We walked through mm -hmm. there. Margaritaville. We walked through there. Um, oh, they have a uh, on the island. They have a, a statue that it's like a fake astronaut because John Glenn. Landed there years ago. People take pictures Mercury of it. Seven, yeah, yeah, that was splashed kind of, down. That was kind of strange, like people taking pictures of the statue. I don't know, kind of weird. Well, we grew <laughs> up little, too. with the space program, so, so it's kind of you know. But but it, it's interesting. It, it yeah, you know that if you go to the Tur Grand Turk, go and read about it. It is interesting history. Oh. And then, um, so yeah, so we, uh, after sweating a lot on there, by the time we got back to the ship, we were balls of sweat, and what did we do? Oh, we had lunch, we were starving, so. What's the name of the place we went to? What's the name of that place? It's a pasta place. It's Italian. It's the Italian place. Yeah, and it's really is. good, it's upstairs. It's above from... the Lido, where the Lido craziness is, you go, there's a little side. 
behind the desserts and up. You, yeah, you, there's the a stairs little, are hidden. There's a sta hidden staircase. <laughs> and it's so good. Yeah, it was okay. I, I wouldn't say it's so good. It was okay. I liked it. <laughs> well, you, <laughs> you fill out a card and you say what kind of pasta you want, what kind of sauce, what do you want on it and everything. And the stuff, whatever I got, did not have most of what I asked for. Yeah. So, um, Mine I, had it all. Yeah, so, hers had yeah, all the vegetables. I don't know what was up with that. Yeah, because I asked for all these vegetables, and it was like I got a couple of pieces of tomato and a few mushrooms, and that was it. And I asked for, like, eggplant and, and spinach and arugula or all this stuff, and it was like none of it was in there. Now, my husband got the lasagna, and That's... it was, okay, in the United States, lasagna, we use ground beef. And this was shredded beef. Maybe that's and like real lasagna. Noodle. But it, because it was like one noodle at the top. What did he call it? He said it was almost like a pot pie <laughs> lasagna. <Yeah. laughs> it was good. He yeah. said it was good, but it was not lasagna <coughs> in his um, <coughs> definition. Yeah, so whatever we're used to, it was not lasagna. Right. And maybe, maybe that's how you're supposed to do lasagna. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, but yeah, so now we are getting ready in a little while. We're going to go to dinner, and uh, at which, which dinner is at Northern Lights tonight? Southern. Right? Southern Lights? We're always in Southern Lights. We're never in Northern Lights? No, correct. I don't even know. Thank God these people are with me, because I would, <laughs> I would be eating in the wrong restaurant. Well, m when Mom and I were on this ship last year, we were in Northern Lights. That was oh, where, okay. where we went. Oh, and tonight we asked, we asked for a different table, because... The booth that we were sitting at was like sitting in a hole, and uh, so we'll see what happens. They did a con they did move us. Unfortunately, that means we get a different wait staff, which is we a loved bummer, our wait staff. They were they very were sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were super sweet and um, knew, knew our names right away. Like everybody knows our names and uh, brought you your limes that you know everything because not the lemons. green lemons. <laughs> Always have, they're like limes, and then I get lemons. I'm like, no, the green ones. Yeah. So we got to train them all over again tonight. Yeah. So hopefully it'll be an actual table so we won't be sitting in holes and it won't hurt my back and stuff. So we'll see how that goes tonight. I don't know. Hopefully we'll be good, in a good spot. I don't know. I th it was weird because there was actually a table right next to us that two nights nobody sat there. So I thought they would just like move us right over there. So I'm not sure why we got moved way in a totally different place. But I don't know. We'll have to see how, we'll see how, it goes how that tonight. goes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the movie we're gonna totally miss the movie, but I don't I don't remember what it was anyway. But it's it's way too early. So oh, we did go play putt putt. Yeah, we played putt putt. And that putt -putt. was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It wasn't very hot up there. No, it it's was... it's today's been nice. It was, it was nice to be outside because it was breezy, not overly breezy, not super hot, just a little spitting of rain, but yeah, not not bad. And I don't know if we got any sun or not. I think I got a little bit. But I feel not like much. I got some on my mm -hmm. arms, but I don't know. I didn't well, wear any sunscreen. And after after lunch, we actually went out and watched the Splendor go, mm -hmm. and then then we went and played putt putt. And, yeah. And afterwards, came down to our rooms, relaxed a little bit, cleaned up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just trying to get my hair to dry. That's why yeah. I keep going like this. It's still wet. <laughs> yeah, mine's wet a little bit. Mine's wet too. And um, and yeah, so we and we pulled out of Grand Turks, so we're heading to um, San Juan, Puerto Rico tomorrow. Yes, so. exciting. We we're hoping to hit a bead store. Yes, I got these these beads last year, to, but not last year, several years ago. Last time I was there, at a bead store. So I'm hoping it is yeah. still there. We we're very hopeful. So, um, but yeah, so we will do another podcast and about tomorrow and um, let you know if we hunt down the bead store or not. Yes. <laughs> Um, I got anything else to add? Nope. Okay. Okay. As usual, thanks for watching. We always appreciate thumbs up, shares, all right, yep. Subscri subscriptions. She's Tapping Flamingo on YouTube. I'm Tammy Pally, Crafty Princess on YouTube. And that's it. Later, Gator. Bye-bye.